Let's play time. Come on, grab your friends. Or go to very distant lands with pick in hand and mobs to kill. The fun will never end. It's let's play time. Welcome back, everyone. Silver Contrails here, and we are going to play some more Adventure Time Craft. Looking forward to it. Been trying to get back into this, and I think I am succeeding lately. I've been uploading a lot of stuff, so just want to go over some things. First of all, I put the two Adventure Time Craft series into their own playlists, so you can go and check those out in playlist form. So hopefully if anyone stumbles across my channel and they see it, they'll be like, oh, hey, I got playlists, and you know, I've got, you can go from one video to the next easily. So there's uh, my first series, which I started in Minecraft 1.0 about uh, it would have been in 2011. Yeah, 2011. And it ran for seven episodes, and then I quit. And then this series, which I started up pretty much immediately afterwards, and is still running. Um, this is going to be episode 16. And we're going to be doing some cool stuff today. But first, I have to say, I just love carrots. Carrots are my life. I, I, yes, carrots are amazing. Um, it used to be melons. Melons were my favorite food source in the game because you get a lot of them and they're easy to eat and you don't have to worry about breaking these then replanting them and then crafting them and they take up space and then you get to dump the extras into the chest and all that stuff. I don't have to worry about any of that with melons and that's why I went to them. Really easy to maintain, don't have to do any replanting, just break them, whatever. Kind of the same thing with this. Uh, there is like a short replant, but boom, right there. That's all I had to do. With these guys, I've got to do that and then I've got extra seeds on me that I've got to do something with and then I'll have extra uh, stuff that I got to craft and then even after I craft it there's still leftovers so it's really nice carrots are really really good and I've been hearing a lot of people talk about them like they're really um, let me turn my sound down I forgot it's I forgot it was maxed out uh, that they're really easy to farm with because hey you got carrots and it's just like food for days um so yeah, my mob system is working okay. It's not great. Um, let's see, i got 14 entities in it, which usually is quite a few. Um, I've been trying to check to see if they're getting jammed. That doesn't seem to be the case, so... Um, yeah, I really don't know what to say about that. Uh, it still needs another... Let's see if I can back up. Because I've got, I've got this main tower here, and then I've got the secondary tower, and you can see where it pipes the mobs in. And that's all fine. Whatever. But I want to put in a third tower. I've actually got to complete this tower too, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Oh, he dropped a bow. Ah, crappy bow. Ah, well, it's okay. Um, but yeah, that's about where I'm at with that. I need more, some more stuff to build it, basically. More building blocks. Um, specifically, cobblestone. And I need to go get some more netherrack too before I can finish it. At least that tower. Because you can see it's just... It's almost finished. It needs, like, the last four plus the roof, and then it's done. Um, and yeah, uh, I brought all the stuff back from the Ender Dragon fun times, including the bows that I had, uh, the sword, and pick, and whatever. Um, and... Doo -doo -doo. So we're looking pretty good so far. I've got 35 diamonds right now. And I've moved some stuff out of here. The next goal is going to be the wither. And I've got two wither skeleton skulls. And what I do usually is I'll grab this looting sword and I'll run into the nether and just run around a fortress. I try to find wither skeletons and kill them when I see them and hopefully pull one of these heads. But I found these two like back to back off wither skeletons and I have yet, even despite killing a bunch of these guys, I have yet to see another one pop up. So it's kind of unfortunate. And uh, my experience system really isn't working that well either. I would hope that it would work better, but I guess not. Uh, so, that brings us to today's build, which is the Vex style of victory monument. You can see that I blew out the wall here. Um, this wall has all to be replaced. The ceiling's got to be replaced, but I'll get to that eventually. And what we're going to build down here is the monument that Vex uses in his Complete the Monument Maps, his Super Hostile series. So we're going to build a victory monument. Um, 
what a victory monument does is you put on there all the victory items, and then when it's complete, you win, essentially. Uh, the victory monument contains, for Vex maps, contains 19 items, 19 blocks. Uh, they are all 16 colors of wool, plus 3 metal blocks that you craft, the iron block, the gold block, and the diamond block. And those all go in a line, and we have a completed victory monument. Hooray! Once you get all those, you win, and they're hidden. Uh, wools are hidden throughout the map, and you can but you can craft the metal blocks, and they just give you the ores, and then once you get those, you craft the metal blocks, and you put them on there. Uh, so, I have all the stuff to build that right in here. Pretty neat. Um, this floor, actually, I made out of endstone. I actually want to get more, because I think it's going to look really nice once I start laying down the obsidian. So that's the first step. We've got to lay down the obsidian. The monument itself is going to sit right in here, I believe, because it's... Let me count it out. It's going to be one, two, three. It's going to be three... It's going to be up to here, and I think I'll, I'll just put the obsidian up to here. If, if I have extra, I'll go over, but otherwise I'll put it just these first three layers, and it's going to be 23 blocks wide, so 16 wool plus 3 metal, four, actually, 4 metal blocks plus another item, and then plus 2 sides. So 16, 20, uh, 22, 23. So yeah, 23 blocks, so this is this is 23. And so we'll go ahead and, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, yeah, it would be really bad to be laying down obsidian and then do it wrong. <laughs> I, would, I would not be happy. Uh, so we'll go ahead and lay down the obsidian. And of course, I'm still using the convenient inventories mod. Which I really like. Gotten really used to using it and feed the beast. Um, I'm playing on actually 1.4.6. Uh, I know 1.4.7 is out, but I haven't upgraded to it yet. Okay, I do have enough to make one more line here. I I'll just go ahead and do that. Using up a lot of my obsidian, but hey, whatever. All right, there we go. We got all the obsidian down. Oh, that looks kind of cool. That does look nice. I, w I, I would like to make maybe like... This wall is probably going to have to go too. It's going to have to come back further, but I think making the rest of this end stone would look really cool. I don't know what I'd make the walls out of. Maybe more um, stone brick? I'm not sure. Uh, real quick, got to go up and get some more glass. I don't think there's anything I'm missing in 1.4.7 that's really important. Uh, the glass, I believe I have enough. I'm not sure. Uh, glass forms kind of the backbone of the structure here. So, we have to lay this out. Um, it's going to go... For sure, I know the glass is going to go here. And then here, and then, right? Does it go here? Because this is where the, and then the signs are going to go here. So this is where the wool will go, and then all the signs will go along this side. Yeah, okay, I think I, I, think I figured it out. I'm going to go ahead and knock out these torches, because they're going to get in my way. It's going to make it dark, though. I can't really see. If it, I'm sure if I put them on the other side, that would work. All right. Uh, same thing over here. Switch my torches around. I'm not used to doing build videos. I usually don't do a whole lot of building on camera. Um, so let's go here. And then... Is it too low? Oh, it's too low. That's what's, that's my problem. Ah, oh, crap, it's night. I really should bring a bed down here. Um, yeah, 1.447 brings in some interesting things, like the fireworks and stuff, but I don't know if it really brings in anything else. Someone mentioned in one of my videos that there was an update to this texture pack. I have not checked it out in a while. 
I thought I was using the same version. I will double check that fairly soon and, and see if there are any new textures, just because it'd be nice. You know, check out some new stuff, maybe. Someone told me, like, they changed the nether to be blue. I don't know why. Seems kind of silly to make it blue. It's not really a, a kind of a blue place. It's definitely a fire and brimstone sort of place. I never really liked the old texture, kind of for that reason. Um, crap. Ah, uh, look at all this sand. Look at all this sand in my way. Go figure. Oh, jeez, more. I was, when I was going through there, I was looking through some of my old videos. Um, when I was making the playlist. I was looking through some of my old videos and seeing what got a lot of views, what didn't get a lot of views and trying to get an indicator of what people want to see from me. And there's always that balancing between making videos that people want to see versus doing stuff I want to do. And, you know, I've always kind of said that I'm inevitably going to do stuff that I want to do for myself personally. Um, but that I'm very interested in the input of other people and that I'm going to be very aware of that input because I want to know what people want to see because hey if pe what people want to see happens to go along with what I want to do then we're in a really good spot and that's gonna be really nice um, alright so that's gonna be the top level this will look really weird with glass. I'm not sure if I... Maybe I don't want to build it with glass. I don't know. Uh, the the monument is made with glass, but it looks a lot better in the other texture pack. We'll see. If it looks bad, then we can replace the glass with something else. Um, and then this has got to go all the way across, essentially. Oh, I missed. And then it'll go here, and then here, and here, and here. And then once again, this goes here. And then, just like I did over there, this is going to come across. Like so. And then one last layer up top. This is where the signs are going to go. Oh, my last stack of glass. Hmm, this is interesting. It's kind of a very frame look like looking framey wireframe. I don't know how to describe it. So the next thing is to put in glowstone. So glowstone looks really strange in this texture pack. It's got this sort of meaty look to it. So I've been thinking I was kind of wondering should I use glowstone or should I use um lamps. So lamps, when I first messed with them, in fact, I remember recording them and, and being just in awe of how good they looked, because they were amazing looking. And then he, for some reason, and I really don't know why, he decided to change the texture. Originally, they looked just like this, and when you turn them on, they were like golden yellow on all sides, and they looked awesome. But then he changed it to this weird blue, which I'm not sure if I like. Like it's it's okay, I guess, if you're trying to go for that like sci-fi feel, but I'm not really a big fan. I prefer the golden look of it. I prefer the golden colored redstone. So the question is, which one do I go with? And I guess I can try both. The downside is, of course, I will lose the glowstone if I don't like it. End up not liking it. Um. It is very red, but I'm not sure this would be necessarily any better. Uh, what do I need? I need a lever. No. 
<laughs> I don't know what I was trying to accomplish there. That actually doesn't look too bad. Compared to these. Hmm, that is interesting. I almost feel like I should boot it up in creative and then test it out and see which one looks better. Because it definitely is interesting. Interesting color pattern. I think the blue would look a little bit neat, a little bit cooler with some of the some of the other things. In fact, why don't we just leave this like it is? And oh boy, I'm getting a lot of lag. Um, and go ahead and put the signs on, I guess, which I'll probably do off camera, especially since I'm I'm dropping frames rapidly. I wonder if it's because my hard drive's filling up again. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, basically, I gotta go label all of these things, so I will do that and then be back, and hopefully my frames are not gone. So, BRB. Well, I went ahead and put the signs on just to check it out. It looks okay so far. My frames really haven't improved much. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, but yeah, here's the wool listing, and of course, he's got the metal blocks bottom and so we go white orange magenta light blue yellow uh oh did I miss one? Oh I probably put I put uh green instead of lime. Oh my gosh my frames are dying again. Oh boy Alright guys I'm still trying to work on my frame rate I think it's okay. Seems to be working. All right. I uh, replaced this sign with lime wool because it was green before. Pink. And the last wool here is gray wool. Okay. So that's the first row done. Or the first set. I don't know why my frames are going down below 30. They usually don't. Okay. Light gray. Cyan. Purple, blue, brown, green, red, and black. And then the last couple things we need here. The iron block, the block of gold, the block of diamond, the emerald block, which looks like a machine block, and lastly, the dragon egg. And that is the complete victory monument. The only thing I've got to do is touch up the lighting. I don't know how I want to do that. If I want to use... I still don't know what looks good. How about this? I'll leave this up to the comments. You guys tell me what looks better. The lamps, redstone lamps, or just the glowstone by itself. So... I'll leave that up to you guys and do whatever gets the most comments. Um, the rest of this does need to be finished up. Oh, it's night. And uh, other than that, the only thing I have left to do is... I know, I know, we'll go to the nether for a bit. This guy is... Dang it. This pigman just ran away in my minecart. Ah! Look at him. You can see his face as he runs away from me. I'd attack him, but there's too many of these guys around. Ah, oh, what a pain. Oh well, I'll just leave him there. Should despawn, I think. Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of work on the nether area. I think I've shown this off before. I'm going to make some really nice pathways through here, because I tend to come, come this way quite a bit. Mainly because I'm looking for those wither skulls. So I need the wither skeleton skulls in order to get out the wither. And the best place to look for those is clearly in a stronghold with a lot of floor space and this fits that description. Uh, I don't see any right now though. 
They're really hard to find. I feel they don't, they don't spawn very frequently. And then when I do find them, they either they usually don't drop um the stiff. Where'd you go? They don't drop the skeleton skulls even when I'm attacking with my looting. Ah, there's one. Oh wait, no, that's not one. That's not one either. There's a blaze over there, though. They're kind of hard to see from a distance. That's why I got Optifine on. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. Well, I'm going to see if I can find another Skeleton Skull, and then we can plan out the Wither battle. Alright, I found one. One. <laughs> I've been looking at for these guys for a while, and I've only managed to... Oh, jeez. Look at that. One piece of coal. Oh, boy. I'll be at this for a while, I think. It's really just... Yeah. It's annoying to try to find these guys. Because they spawn very infrequently. And I've got to run through a pretty large area to try to find them. Pigmen. Yep, I'll be back. It's about time. I've probably killed like at least 15 of these guys and they spawn so infrequently. But that is the last Wither Skeleton Skull that I need, so let's go back and let's go back to the overworld to our base and talk about what this means, what our next step is going to be. Alright, so kind of to close out this episode here, I'll talk about the Wither a little bit. This is my next goal right here. We've got the Soul Sand and the Wither Skeleton Skull. So at any time now, I can summon the Wither. And it will attack and it will wreck everything if I just let it loose in this village. And that's the last thing I want to do because it will kill all my villagers before I probably have a chance to stop it. So the Wither is kind of a tough opponent. I know there are people who pretty much can destroy it without taking damage. I've seen videos. I am not one of those people. So I want to take things cautiously. There's a cautious approach that uses iron golems to kill the wither. I may try that. And then like you can kind of finish it off yourself if the iron golems don't kill it. So I'll probably give that a shot. And see what happens and see if we can get another star out of it. Which I hope we can. I really want to get another star. Um, but I think I'll try that next episode. I'll do a little bit more preparation get some enchantments going and all that stuff and then next episode we will face off against the wither and hopefully get a beacon going that would be really cool i would love to have a beacon um but yeah that's pretty much my video so thanks for watching and until next time then